Key news for you just coming from the state capitol. It's now a done deal. The Senate has given final approval to the state budget. That vote coming down just a short time ago and follows the vote early this morning in the House. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live for us right now at the state capitol. She's right outside the Senate chamber where this uh, just happened, right, Susan? It just happened. In fact, the debate here in the state Senate over the budget took about five hours. But here's what came out as really uh, something impressive, and that is it got bipartisan support overwhelmingly. Only one Republican senator voted against it. Given that, when you look at the budget, there is so much in it, over 900 pages. Again, so much is in it. And the senators here felt in many ways that what's in it is perhaps the best thing for Connecticut taxpayers. Over 60% of Connecticut residents will be seeing less taxes. This year, of course, is, uh, uh, this budget had uh, many things that were appealing to all four caucuses. There has been overwhelming support for the state budget, and now the Senate has given its stamp of approval, which means Connecticut taxpayers will get a break. The largest income tax cut for working and middle class families. Don't tell me that doesn't make a difference. Don't tell me that doesn't make a difference for uh, that business as well. The business community wanted more, but reduced taxes will help make Connecticut more attractive and more competitive with other states. Connecticut has 100,000 jobs to fill, and there is money in the budget for workforce development and daycare. There's also increased funding for education to hire more teachers. Higher ed, like UConn and state colleges, will get more money, but not what they wanted. Also disappointed, group home workers making slightly more than minimum wage and financially strapped nonprofits. We get it, and so you, you understand that, and part of our job is everybody says you didn't give me all the things we want, but I think we've created stability. Despite a huge surplus, state lawmakers had to work with fiscal guardrails put in place to pay down pension debt and limit spending. The budget overall is a productive budget. It put priorities where is needed, um, and I think that also put reforms in place. We have to look at living within our means. So Connecticut now has a state budget, and Governor Lamont will sign it. The clock, however, is still ticking, and lawmakers will take up a number of votes or bills that are still on the calendar. But keep in mind, the session ends tomorrow at midnight. It is customary for the governor to address the legislature at midnight, and today Governor Lamont said he was invited and he will speak. So we will have to wait and see. But no doubt the tax breaks this legislative session are something that people are going to Remember, for now, we are live at the state capitol in Hartford, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.